So I have two more modules that I, I'm going to demo today uh, really quickly. Uh, they both have to do with uh, kind of the field notes and the, the field uh, tooltips. So one of them is, is called the field notes display module. And the field notes are, let me go into the designer here. The field notes are the, the little notes down here underneath the field that you can add for extra information. And what the, the field notes display module does is it gives you three different options <clears throat> to display the field notes uh, using an action tag and a value. So the three, the action tag is the field notes display, and then the options that you have are hover, popover, and tooltip. Um, and you would basically just add an action tag, the action tag down here to the editor, and then just make sure you give it a value. If you don't give it a value, or if you don't put anything, if you don't have it here, it'll just display by default. Uh, and this is where you would enter the text for your uh, field note in the field. Um, so let me go to the, let me just add a record here, but because I have it, uh, this is how it's displayed uh, to explain. Uh, so this is what a default field note looks like. It just pops up underneath. Uh, and then if you have, uh, if you have it set to hover, anytime you hover over the field, it will pop up as a sort of a tool tip. Um, so if you hover in and then pause for a little bit, it'll pop up, but then as soon as you leave, it goes away. And now the second one is called popover and it is only activated when the user clicks on this question mark. So this option adds a, a sort of a, kind of like an old school tool tip question mark and if you click on it, it pops up the little window and then it stays even if you hover away or out of the field and only goes away when you click on it. Um, and then the tooltip one is similar, but it only turns on when you hover over the question mark. So this would be a good thing to have if, you know, you have a definition of something or you know you want to clarify exactly what kind of data you're asking the participant to fill in uh, we get this with like medical questions sometimes when somebody isn't sure of like a medical some medical terminology or there's there can kind of be some ambiguity in what you're asking you know if you're asking them for something that you want like a, a specific value like you want them to type something in numerically versus like kind of this long drawn out drawn out like message, uh, you know, things like that. You can just add some extra clarity with the field note and then give them this, op this option of clicking on it. Uh, and then finally, whenever you do the field note in RedCap, you can add HTML, but you cannot add HTML and use the field note display module at the same time. So you can see here that just use a little bit of HTML to uh, make the word tooltip bold and red, uh, and it displays. But if I do that same thing in in a field with the tooltip uh, module activated, and you'll see here that all this is is just uh, a span with a font color. Jeez, uh, <laughs> I scrolled way too fast. Uh, so I just added a font color and a strong tag uh, for this. Now, if I put the tooltip uh, field notes display here, when I display it, it just shows you the HTML. So let me go back to the records here and scroll down. So this is what it should look like if it's being rendered, uh, but it's not. It just shows up as, as the HTML that I put in. So if you can add a little bit of visual flair to the, the tool tip or the field note, if you want to kind of draw attention to, you know, certain wording, that kind of thing. Uh, but you can't do that with the field notes display. So it's strictly just text uh, and, and you can't uh, make it any, any prettier. 